the first observation. If she gonna move with this new flow, Miss Rahab, she gonna have to get over her past. Stop regurgitating, stop trying to hold on to it, it is over. And make up your mind that if God is in me, if God be for me, he that hath begun a new work in me. And it may be a little tight right now, but this is not the end of my story. It is not the end of my story. Don't put no period there, put a comma, which means it's just a pause. Talk to the neighbor on the right side and tell him, I'm just at a connection point. Connection. I'm just, I'm just, honey, I'm just making a connection. My baggage is all the way over there. I'm just a connection. This is not my final destination. Because sometimes when you get over folk, you got to learn how to praise them all by yourself. That's what's wrong with some of you. You need too much help to praise them. You need a praise team and a guitar, a drum and congos and an organ and an electric piano. Uh -uh. I need to know if I got anybody who can praise God on the naked floor. I got anybody who can get happy on the carpet. I don't have to hear nothing. Y'all sit down. Observation two. Sit, sit. Observation two. I just got a couple of more. This is Rahab. Y'all know Rahab. Observation two. Whatever you are dealing with that's not part of God's plan for your life, you must let go of. Two, observation two. Whatever or whoever you dealing with that's not a part of God's plan for your life, got to go. And you have to tell them this is not about you, this is about me. So I understand that I am upsetting the apple cart. But right here, I sense in my spirit that you are not part of my future. So let's avoid a whole lot of drama. Bye. See, some of y'all don't know how to say bye, but I can say bye about four or five different ways. I can text you by, I can email you by, I can write it on a paper and photograph it and send it to you, I can stop by. Cause I am a woman with potential. And I cannot afford to hang around with you and you ain't going where I'm going. You still wonder, honey, when she get the dress, how she get the car. I don't care when she got the dress and who cares what kind of car you drive. I am not in competition with anybody. And that gets some women in trouble because we, we just got comp, we ain't got a spirit. Trying to keep up and get along. Uh uh. No. If you are not part of what God is getting ready to do in my future, I cannot afford. You must be willing, men and women, to let go of anything that is not part of your future as it relates to where God is taking you. And sometimes He has to isolate you. You trying to hold on to somebody God has already dismissed. You trying to make it right and God already told you it's wrong. Get out of it. Let it go. Move on. You got to participate with the process. 
success that God has designed for your life. And some people are in your life only for a season. You made them a permanent resident. That's a season. And you've got to know when it's over. And you've got to be able to say it clearly, with distinction. Write it in a poem. Roses are red, violets are blue. I am now through with you. I need to take my own offering. I need an offering right here. Somebody put some money up here for me. I need an offering. Thank you. I need an offering. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I, I, love, I love the Holy Ghost. Don't you love the Holy Ghost? He'll tell you what to say. I love it. get over it and if you let it go they will move on they're only there because you won't let them go the situation is there because you won't turn the situation loose and, and when I found out that when, when I start participating balcony folk with, 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 with God's plan for my life you know, you know what I've discovered that my good days outweigh that, that's why I love that song Bishop sang. See, he said, I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I, I've had some weary days. And I've had some sleepless nights. But when I look around and think things over, all of my good days, I, I need some honest folk. I know it's bad for you right now, but all of my way my so I won't God has been so you, you, you gotta release you gotta whatever your lot you gotta make up your mind if, if God has taken me here then this is where I'm gonna be if God is bringing me there, then this is where there is. That's what Rahab did. So she hid the spies. Mm -hmm. she, she, did, she, she, she does something that's not conventional. She hid the spies. But, but, but what I really like about her deaconess is that she was a woman who knew how to cut a deal. I mean, after all, cutting the deal with men was what she was best at doing. So she says to the spies, what you going to do for me? I, I, I got a few women in here know a little something, something about cutting the deal. Don't get killed. Cut in a jail. Come on. Some of you is trying to cut a deal with Jesus. Don't get cute. You just cut a deal. We know how to turn it into our favor. L let me talk to the real people. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, I didn't say this at eight o'clock, but you know, I don't know how many of them have to exit, you know, to blip this out the tape, you know, because you know, I, I can, I can kind of get Bishop to do what I want him to do. I just have to. Well, well he my man. So if I'm going to cut a deal, I might as well cut a deal with my man. Girl, you better help me. <laughs> All I got to do is start crying. I learned early if I start crying. So now I cry real good. I hyperventilate. You start in your belly. <laughs> By the time the tears come, it's a done deal. It's a done 